Hi, this is Ryan with Iron Planet Hobbies, and in this video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to add Railcom to your NCE system. Alright, before I show you how I set that up, just a little bit about Railcom for those that don't know. What Railcom does is open up uh, two-way communication with the decoder. Um, that way you can see not only that a block is occupied, but you can read back the address of the locomotive decoder that is in the block, which is great for um, dispatcher panels or hidden staging yards, things like that. Um, also, besides being able to read back the address, there are other things you can do with Railcom, such as uh, see the direction, uh, speed, quality of service, and even read back other items that are listed in the dynamic containers. And all of these things are part of the NMRA standard, and those can be found with a quick search online. All right, to get this going, what we use here is a DCC for PC cutout device, uh, just coming right off the track output here. And then I've got a lens uh, decoder here. It's an LRC120. And what this does is you can see here 7048 on the locomotive, and you can read out the 7048 on the reader. And so this number here can also be uh, sent to a PC for uh, JMRI, Rockrail, or any other PC uh, program that you want to use. And a couple ways you can do this. You can use a USB uh, device like this to connect it. And then for your block detection, this is a 16 channel block detector. And so these, all three of these right here are from DCC for PC. Um, and then going forward, uh, something that I would like to try is I'm going to try to use the Digikai's DR5088RC, which reports the Railcom information via Loconet, and then connect that through a local buffer USB by RR circuits uh, onto the PC, and by standing up a standalone Loconet, and we can do it that way as well. Um, but by using this, you'll have to have a separate uh, second connection to JMRI, which it does support that. So there's no problems there. And so that's how easy it is to get Railcom up and running, not just on NCE, but uh, virtually any DCC system that does not automatically generate a Railcom cutout from the command station. So I thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and leave any comments or questions below.